Hi, there's um, on these emergency syringes, there's a couple different types of syringes and how to uh, assemble them. Um, it's pretty simple. Um, all of the emergency syringes uh, come with two pieces. You have to uh, flip the tops off just gently like that. And then um, you attach the two pieces together. Um, it just, they fit inside each other and then you just gently do a little twist until they're uh, attached and then this end comes off and it can be lure locked into uh, a running IV site or a, a IV site that's in place um, or you can attach a needle if you need to on the end. The other type of uh, syringe it has a needle already attached in that green section there's really no need to use that um, We'll still assemble them the same way. Just flip the yellow pieces off. Just gently uh, screw them together. And in this case, all you need to do to get the lure lock is to uh, twist off the little yellow cap and then you have your lure lock site. What happens sometimes is people just pull that off and then there's no way to get um, administered through that to the patient. You either have to, you can just gently, you gotta be careful. If so there's a needle in there, just put that green piece back on and just detach the yellow cap. And that's one example you'll see, uh, which gets used more commonly uh, for low blood sugar is dextrose syringes. And it's the same, it has the green uh, needle in there but once again, you, these are just same thing, only bigger syringe. You just flip the ends off and uh, tighten the two pieces together. You remove the yellow cap and then that just works like a, a regular syringe and it'll push the, push the liquid up. You'll see it come out a little bit. And then um, uh, administer through a running IV site or a, a IV site already in place. And that's how the emergency syringes work. I'm Sandy from the pharmacy. If you have any questions, please call 1040. Thank you.